Okay, so on the theme of what's the when you're when you're lost, you know you're in um, you know in crisis. What's the meaning of life, and um, and you're feeling lost or something like that. So, well, you know, for me, I, I you know my take on that is if I'm ever feeling lost and directionless, really the, the prime problem for me is that. I'm not connected to the love of God. I'm not connected to the infinite. I'm not connected to the Buddha nature, the infinite Buddha nature or eternal life. I mean, in the in the eternal now, in the in, in the holy presence, in the holy instant, uh, the feeling of not of of being lost, not having a purpose, not having enough creativity, not knowing what you know, feeling. Um, unknowing about what's the meaning and purpose of life or even to feel fear and distress so this thing of like if i have a problem i need to fix the world so that um i need to get a fix from the world or control some aspect of the world to get my meaning or first clearing away the doubt the feeling lost by going straight to feeling fully connected to the inner inspiration the sunlight of the spirit the light of god and then see what comes through so i'd say that when you're feeling lost and, and, and confused about the meaning of life, I'd say the vibration is actually quite low. So actually it's more a vibrational state. There are certain vibrational states where one is feeling unhappy in the now. Um, there are certain vibrational states where one is witnessing the world and everything seems to be going wrong in the world and one's inner purpose seems to be lost. And, you know, it's a low vibration. I mean, low, I don't mean that in a judgmental way. It's a low level of consciousness. And um, what's life about? What should I be doing? Well, first I would raise my consciousness. I would, this is what I would do. I'd raise my consciousness until I'm happy right now. So what are the feelings? Are, how do I feel being lost or not fulfilling my purpose? Is that a feeling or is it a collection of thoughts? Is it like Sabir, you know, you should be doing far better work in the world. You should be earning far more money. Uh, you should have a girlfriend, you should feel whatever it is. So, uh, or you should be doing some high calling in, in the world uh, and you're not doing any of that. So, so you're bad and you're wrong. Um, then I would say, okay, so those are the thoughts coming up. I'm not happy now. I mean, I can't be happy now if I'm having this, these thoughts playing in the background. Uh, I sort of see it as the divine, the Buddha nature, the infinite presence, God consciousness, there's happiness now. I can connect to God's love right now in this moment. And I, for me, actually, it's more about my level of consciousness reflects how I see the world and how I feel about everything, myself and the world. So first I need to get that in order. I need to be fully connected. And then what, I, what my expression in the world, my creativity, my thoughts, my actions will be aligned with that high level of consciousness. So for me, if I'm ever disconnected, for me, like having despair or, mean, or not knowing what the meaning of life or, or just um, that kind of place is actually this connection. So maybe I'm feeling dissociated. Maybe I'm feeling disconnected. Maybe, pe maybe unconsciously people have disappointed me. Maybe I have an expectation that I should be some mega saint, you know, uh, like Mother Teresa in India. Do, I mean, what, what am I doing with myself here, you know, in, in, in a room in London? So if these dialogues are going, then for me, it's like, this is um, my whole thing. And actually it's true. When I feel fully connected in the now, there's nothing missing right now. I, ha I don't look back like I didn't create enough yesterday. I'm not creating enough um, I don't, or I'm not clever enough or I'm feeling disconnected. And it's like in that place of happiness in the now, shall we say, of fulfillment, because I've cleared the feelings and negative thoughts. Negative um, feelings can be much more subtle than just a fear and anxiety. It can be dissociation, a uh, feeling of slight unease, um, or feeling even fogginess and lack of clarity uh, is, is a feeling. So these are more subtle feelings. Thoughts. Actually, for me, in God's love right now, we're in the infinite now, eternal now, the holy instant, actually nothing is missing. There's just pure happiness. People who've gone into those states, you know, focus on the level of the connection first and then let things come out of you. That, that's my thing, because how, you know, one person in a high vibration can walk down the street and see love everywhere 
and that the world is perfect and everything is going brilliantly and see love in all relationships. Another person who's feeling disconnected can see the same things, but have very negative self-talk. You're not doing enough, you're disconnected. Uh, you should be doing far better work. I see suffering everywhere, fear and horrors everywhere. The world is all wrong. So for me, it's like, so what, can I go to the observer of my thoughts? Can I go to the observer of this feeling of I, I've lost because I'm not sure what the meaning of life is? Well, what's observing? Is the observer of that feeling lost and wants to know the meaning of life? Is the observer uh, feeling there's a lack of creativity right now, a lack of expression or lack of needs being met right now? So, or can I feel out anything that's uneasy? Do I have any negative self-talk that are not in full inspiration and happiness right now? Can I cancel those, clear those, or place them into God's infinite light and love? So um, I'll leave it there and stop the recording.